हेलो एंड वेलकम टू इन साइड साइस गाइज ओनली वेरी लेस डेज रिमेनिंग टू गो फॉर प्रिलिम्स 2020 सो आवर मेन नेम इज टू बूस्ट योर प्रिपरेशन सो दैट यू कैन अटेंड मैक्सिमम क्वेश्चन इन प्रिलिम सो गाइज इन 30 नवंबर एक ए करेक्ट करेक्शन वुड बी दैट इज देर आर नो 26 सिक्स रामसाट साइड्स देर आर ट्वेंटी सेवन रामसाट साइड्स इन लाटेस्ट दैट इज ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन वन रामसाट साइड दैट इज सुंदरबन इज एडेड सो यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर इट सो द फर्स्ट इश्यू इज वर्ल्ड एंटी डोपिंग एजेंसी रिसेंटली वन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंटी डोपिंग एजेंसीज पैनल सजेस्टेड बैनिंग रसास फॉर फोर इयर्स फ्रॉम कंपीटिंग इन इंटरनेशनल इवेंट्स इंक्लूडिंग द टोक्यो समर ओलंपिक्स इंटरनेशनल ओलंपिक कमिटी बैंड रशियाज पार्टिसिपेशन आर द ट्वेंटी एटीन विंटर ओलंपिक्स इन प्योंगचांग साउथ कोरिया The Russian Olympic Committee was suspended and barred from attending the event. Only a few Russian athletes were allowed to perform under strict conditions. So generally, UPSC does not ask about sports things because the this issue is very grave. So they can ask this question. So it was established in nineteen ninety nine as an international independent agency agency composed and funded equally by sport movement and governments of the world. its foundation was initiated by the ioc to promote coordinate and monitor the fight against against drugs in sports it is headquartered in montreal canada integrity accountability and excellence are the core values of the agency so let's move to the next issue that is start questions in parliamentary proceedings so before that we will discuss what happens in parliament in a day first is your uh, in at 11 am the parliamentary proceeding starts both in lok sabha and rajya sabha so in between 11 am to 12 pm question hour starts so after that uh, in between 12 pm and 1 pm this zero hour start which is very important uh, when there is some important issues are discussed so after that 1 pm to 2 pm a lunch break is there and after that 1 pm to 6 pm your uh, lok sabha proceedings goes on and in between uh, 1 pm sorry 2 pm to 5 pm your rajya sabha proceedings goes on so you have to remember it the ongoing winter session of 17th lok sabha has taken all the 20 start questions for the first time since 1972 in upcoming slides we will discuss what is start questions what is unstart questions etc The previous record was created during the fifth Lok Sabha, nineteen seventy-two, when thirteen start questions were answered. In the fifth Lok Sabha, nineteen seventy-two, the number of start questions was fixed at twenty per question hour. Similarly, for the Rajya Sabha, the number is fixed at fifteen. Member of Parliament has a right to ask questions, which is one of the devices available to them to seek information on matters of public importance. what is question hour the first hour of every parliamentary sitting is termed as question hour it is mentioned in the rule of procedure of the house during this time the member asks questions and the ministers usually give answers the questions are of three types namely start questions which is start question these are distinguished by an asterisk so this kind of asterisk is given it requires an oral answer start question oral answer on start question written answer only it requires an oral answer and hence supplementary questions can follow the list of these questions is printed in green color so this is important green color so then on start questions this on start questions is requires a written answer and hence supplementary questions cannot follow the list of these questions is printed in white color then short notice questions the matter of public importance and of urgent uh, character are considered under this type of questions it is asked by giving a notice of less than 10 days this days also are important it is answered orally again the list of these questions is printed in light pink color in addition to the ministers the questions can also be asked to private members what is question to private members These questions are uh, mentioned under Rule Forty of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business in Lok Sabha. The list of these questions is printed 
in yellow color so one question in mains 2013 was asked let's discuss the role of individual mps that is member of parliament has diminished over the years and as a result healthy constructive debates on policy issues are not usually witnessed how far can this be, uh, be attributed to the anti defection law which was legislated but with a different intention so this kind of question regarding parliament can be asked so next issue to issue is us minimizes its share in nato budget let's discuss something about nato it is a military alliance not an economic alliance it is completely military alliance established by the north atlantic treaty also called the washington treaty of april 4 1949 by the united states canada and several western european nations to provide collective security against the soviet union it is headquartered at brussels belgium a key provision of the treaty the so called article 5 states that if one member of the alliance is attacked in europe or north america it is to be considered an attack on all members that effectively put western europe under the nuclear umbrella of the nato so nato has only once invoked article 5 on september 12 2001 following the 9 11 attacks on the world trade center in the us so once it has invoked it NATO's protection doesn't extend to members civil wars or internal coups as of 2019 there are 29 member states with montenegro becoming the latest member to join the alliance in 2017 montenegro the latest so one question was asked in mains 2003 discuss the role of nato after the end of cold war so the next issue is undp's accelerator lab The United Nations Development Program (UNDP) has launched its accelerator lab in India. The project has been launched in collaboration with the government's Atal Innovation Mission and will look to solve issues through innovative solutions. Guys, Atal a prelim question was asked regarding to Atal Innovation Mission in 2019. So we'll discuss in upcoming slides objectives. This lab will seek to address some of the most uh, uh, pressing issues facing India. such as air pollution sustainable water management and climate resilient livelihoods through innovation the vision is to make faster progress in meeting the ambitious sustainable development goals of the un by 2030 let's discuss about accelerator lab the accelerator lab is an innovative new initiative by undp state of qatar and the federal republic of germany to find 21st century solutions to today's complex new challenges in a prelim they can quote this this things and ask a question india's accelerator lab will be part of a network of 60 global labs covering 78 nations that will test and scale new solutions to global challenges like climate change and inequality atal innovation mission it is a flagship national innovation initiative of the government of india under the niti ayog it aims to promote a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship let's discuss something about undp the keywords which are there we'll discuss it the united nations development program is the uns uh, global development network it provides expert advice training and grants support to developing countries with the increasing emphasis on assistance to the least developed guys in comment box which uh, reports are published by undp UNDP India's country uh, country program for 2018 to 2022 has the three major focus areas one is inclusive growth environment and energy strengthening systems and institutions countries guys in uh, 2016 or 2017 they asked about uh, red and red plus so they can ask also UNDP and these things can be asked in prelim also you have to remember it so the next issue is DAC that is defense acquisition council so defense acquisition council acts like this one uh, three parts are there one is defense production uh, and is defense procurement board and the next is defense uh, r&d board and these things comes under defense procurement board and have a look on this the defense acquisition council has approved the procurement of weapons and equipment worth 22800 crore 
द फोकस वॉज ऑन मेकिंग मेक इन इंडिया इनिशिएटिव दैट इज ऑन इंडिजिनस डिजाइन डेवलपमेंट एंड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ वीपन्स एंड इक्विपमेंट थर्मल इमेजिंग नाइट साइट्स फॉर आइसल्स राइफल्स एयर बन वार्निंग एंड कंट्रोल सिस्टम एयरक्राफ्ट फॉर इंडियन एयरफोर्स द शॉर्टेज ऑफ सच फोर्स मल्टीप्लायर्स वॉज फेल्ड ड्यूरिंग द एरियल मैनेजमेंट विथ द पाकिस्तान एयरफोर्स ए डे आफ्टर द बालाकोट एयर स्ट्राइक इन फेब्रुआरी ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन पी एट वन लॉन्ग रेज पेट्रोल एयरक्राफ्ट फॉर द इंडियन नेवी फ्रॉम यूएस टू इन इंजिन हेवी हेलीकॉप्टर्स फॉर द इंडियन कोस्ट गार्ड वट इज द डिफेन्स एक्विजन काउंसिल लेट डिस्कस The Defence Acquisition Council is the highest decision-making body in the Defence Ministry for deciding on new policies and capital acquisitions for the three services that is Army, Navy and Air Force and the Indian Coast Guard. The Ministry of Defence is the chairman of the council. It was formed after the group of ministers recommendations on reforming the national security system in 2001 post Kargil war 2019-1999. So let's discuss the prelim questions asked in 2016. Who is of the following is a tributary a tributaries of Brahmaputra? Options are Dibang, Kameng, and Lohit. All options are right. So answer is D. So guys, in comment box, who is are the left left hand tributaries of Brahmaputra and right hand tributaries of Brahmaputra? Because uh, in prelims every year they are asking tributaries of a, a river. it it may be trivial or it may be be trivial or crucial river but they are asking so uh, whatever rivers coming in coming in news or big rivers are there in India we have to discuss their tributaries also and their origin point of view and where they are going to fall their inland uh, river or not this kind of thing we have to discuss so another question in prelim 2019 asked atoll innovation mission is set up under the options are department of science and technology minister of labor and employment niti ayog minister of skill development and entrepreneurship the right answer is niti ayog thank you guys have a nice day